Hey there, everybody. As always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And right now up on screen, I have some of the fruits of my labor from this morning. So we do a lot of drone talk here. We do a lot of drone jobs. And we also specialize in some pretty unique deliveries for our drone clients. So for the morning, I spent most of the morning doing a lot of post-processing as we're starting into a whole new project uh, called Solstice 2. This project is going to be developing 53 new homes, and we're going to be documenting it every step of the way. So I've been building a new class series over on Teachable, if you haven't already checked that out. And we talk about our process, and I actually show you through some of the projects that we've done over the years, and projects that we're at, uh, actively doing, like this one right in front of me here. So I spent most of the morning doing all this post-processing. I wanted to show you the custom page that we're building for the client. Now this is gonna be tweaked over time. I'm just laying the groundwork. I've already talked to a couple of the clients this morning. They're thrilled with seeing this presentation, but we can always make it better. And it's going to develop over time as we get into this main project. Right now, they're still right at groundbreaking. So we're getting in on the ground floor, literally, of being able to watch this project come together. Now, one of the specialty things that we do is we actually do custom web pages for our clients. We do custom deliverables. So we don't wring our hands over PDF reports or PowerPoints or uh, sharing a bunch of Dropbox folders or Google Drive folders, you know, dumping a bunch of data on our clients and waving, hey, thanks for the business. No, we like to put a presentation together for them and a presentation that most any person can understand. You don't just have to be in the construction business to get what's going on. So today I'm going to walk you through really quickly um, this particular progression report uh, web page that is for our clients. And as you can see, it's for the Solstice project. So just to let you know, I am utilizing WordPress to build this website. Um, and we use a lot of different WordPress plugins like Slider Revolution and Essential Grid and a lot of other tools too, like Outside of the Box and a few more. And they'll come back to my mind as we start scrolling down here. So the initial part, just a little banner. This banner was put together with um, not Essential Grid, but uh, Slider Revolution. So this is a Slider Revolution setup, so it could be a slideshow if we wanted. Now, we just recently flew the location. So the first thing we wanted to share with them, because one of the things I found uh, consistently with our construction clients is they really do like the ortho mosaic models. Now, there's been a big push on YouTube lately, not just from my own channel, but from a lot of channels, talking about drone construction progression and drone work. And a lot of focus is on doing 2D and 3D models, doing, doing photogrammetry. And that is a big part of what we do here as well. But one thing we want to remind viewers is don't put all your eggs in one basket. By that, I mean doing these maps and models are fantastic and useful for our clients. But don't forget that there are other services that we can offer them. So it's not just about the maps and models. To show progress on a job site, we can do videos, we can do stills, we can do uh, 360s located at the same location over and over again. There's a lot of flexibility. And one of the things you should keep in mind when you're building um, these types of projects for your clients, make sure to uh, ask them about other needs and uh, other needs that they have for their presentations. So when we go out in the field, we always start with our ortho mosaics to get a feel of the overall site. What you're looking at here is an ortho mosaic and a digital elevation model as well. So there's our digital elevation model versus our ortho mosaic. Now you might be asking yourself, hey, that's a really cool before and after slider, Rich. Yes, it absolutely is a really cool before and after slider. Um, the plugin is called 2020. It's a WordPress plugin. It allows you to overlay a couple of images on each other to see the changes either over time or see the changes in the different type of model. So there's the digital elevation. And in the digital elevation, we can actually see each of the lots where they're actually building up the dirt just a little bit more than the next lot over. So you can actually count those out. Same right down in here as well. So this is a really cool presentation. And I do know for a fact, one of the folks who's working on this project did a presentation the other day, shared some of this off of this test page. And apparently most of the folks in the room were pretty much wowed. And the other folks in the room said, what else can they do for us? So this ortho mosaic was flown with a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. 
So, you know, the older one, not the Mavic 3 or anything. We're still using the older tech here and it still works great for us. So it was flown with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Uh, it was captured utilizing Map Pilot Pro. So that's the flight app that we utilized to obtain these results. And after this was all captured and offloaded here in the studio, um, this ortho mosaic model was run with web ODM. So we used web ODM to actually process 130, I think it was 132 images. And those images were processed in web ODM, yielding this, uh, yielding this particular uh, georeference TIFF file for our ortho mosaic, and also yielding this digital surface model as well. So those are the things that went into this Mavic 2 Pro, Map Pilot Pro, and then Web ODM. Also to overlay these things, I also needed to use Photoshop as well. And I also utilized QGIS for a couple other things here. So, okay, let's go ahead and scroll down. So there's the first part of my morning spent working on some of that. The second part was doing a new video. So we do a lot of flight paths for clients so that we can do time lapse for them. So we can show the changes on their property, um, you know, each visit after visit. So whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, um, each flight that we come in, we can execute the flight over and over again. So the flight was executed utilizing Litchi. So we used Litchi for following along waypoint paths, doing still images and doing video. Since this place is a brand new construction site and things really haven't started progressing yet, um, we also wanted to show where the lots were because it's not that easy to kind of identify it when you're watching the video. By the way, this video flight path has been saved and stored so I can reuse this flight path over and over again. Let's go ahead here. Let me number one, let's turn the audio off so I don't have anything coming in the background, but let's take a quick look at this video assembly. So doing a little intro we've also got the realtors information and here we go with that video flight path and you can see that we've got these areas marked out and labeled so here we go on this particular one we are using final cut pro we are using uh motion trackers 3d area plugin for creating these little lot blocks here and this does take a good bit of time so as you're laying these out you've got to set up the trackers You've got to set up a track for each one of these. And so it does get uh, time consuming. So each of these uh, each of these lots took a couple of minutes a piece um, to overlay in the final video. And you can see these things coming up and they're not overlaying, closing out the entire area. We do have some opacity going on there. So you can still see through and see some of those ground features as well. And then we've got a couple other lots on this hillside here as well and the drone is going to be turning in a moment. So this video was executed once again by Litchi. Um, I set it up. I did a couple of test flights of it, got it to where I wanted it, and then we can actually see where these lots are. So there's lot 34, 35, 36, and 37 is coming up momentarily, and then 38 to 40 because things were getting a little skewed. The perspective was getting a little strange here. And actually that just stalled out itself for a moment. Sorry about that. And then we've got the final information on this. So this was flown second. So let me go ahead and make sure this is paused and it is paused. So first we did the ortho mosaic flight with Map Pilot Pro. Once the ortho mosaic flight was done, we moved on to Litchi for capturing our video flights. So we did multiple video flights, not just this one. We'll be using those down the road as the project gets underway. In total, I have four different flight paths set up in Litchi for different angles and different views of these properties and as the properties are getting built. So we've got Map Pilot for our ortho mosaic, which will fly each time. And then we've got Litchi for the video and the stills. So the reason why I have this process, I always do ortho mosaics first because it's usually a block of 100, 200, 300 images for the ortho mosaic. Once you're done with that block, I like moving over to the video so that when we offload the camera card from the drone, I know the first set of JPEGs are going to be for the ortho and the digital surface model and things. Then when I find the first grouping of videos, I know that those are the videos that we're going to re-execute time after time. So that's the second part of my process is seeing those MP4s. And then finally, we also do the still images and, and we use those still images for before and after as well. So um, 
once again, in this one, what you just saw in this video, Litchi doing the flight with our Mavic 2 Pro, and then some heavy editing in Final Cut Pro and adding in all of those tracks. So we added in over 10 tracks, um, maybe like 15, 16 tracks in total, and call those several minutes a piece because they do take a few moments uh, for rendering. So M Tracker is a plugin for Final Cut Pro, and it's definitely worth checking out if you want to do presentations like this. So after we got the video all together and I got the video posted up here, how is this getting displayed? It's not YouTube or anything. Well, I uploaded this video to my Dropbox account, and another feature, another plugin for WordPress is called Outside of the Box. It links to my Dropbox account and it can actually be built into my website. So I can take things that are built in my Dropbox account and incorporate them as part of this presentation. So a pretty nice deliverable. So the other way that we could do this, upload Dropbox and then tell the client, hey, go ahead and download this video and you can check it out. But isn't this much better in a presentation format? Yeah, I, I think a web presentation format is a lot nicer. So the next part that we did in here, so what you're looking at once again is the ortho mosaic that uh, we collected the data for just a couple of days ago, October 4th. And so we took that and we actually popped the image into Kula. So Kula is something I normally use for 360 uh, virtual tours. Love using Kula. But one of the nice things is Kula will actually let you put a map layer in. So we put together this map layer and we put it into Kula so that we could have some clickable items in here. So each of these little houses, this is still a rough draft. And once we've fine tuned everything for the clients and gotten all their requests, we'll definitely do another video on this so you can see the final version of these because this one looks a little cartoonish and maybe I did a bad thing picking out the cute little red roofed house. But so on this one here, the ortho mosaic that we had uh, put together, I brought that ortho mosaic into QGIS, my GIS system. And then I took all of the county parcels. So I used Yavapai County's tax parcel map and I got the GPS coordinates of the corners of each of these lots. Now, I am not a licensed survey engineer and I'm not making any types of claims that these are perfectly accurate or anything, but this does give potential buyers for these new homes an idea of where their home is gonna be situated in the new development. And just to show you, so part of why we utilize Kula was so that we had these clickables here. I'm just gonna click on the little house and this brings up a uh, almost 180 panoramic of what's out in the distance. And this is about ground level of the home. So if you're looking out the windows, the possibilities of what you're gonna see are gonna be out here. So we can see some pre-construction off to the sides as well. But we can also see the Prescott Lakes golf course in the distance, very close by. So I'm gonna close that one up because we also added a 2D floor plan in here. So this floor plan was generated by Box Brownie for my clients. You know, just a sample floor plan here. They've got several different types of uh, homes that they're looking to build. And the next one over here, we've got a 3D floor plan. That's also something that Box Brownie built. So really nice to give people an idea. So once we get this one polished up in here, this should be a really nice little showcase for my clients. Finally, scrolling down a little bit more because we did want to hand off those pianos that we have. We're going to be giving those pianos back to the realtor that we're dealing with. And the realtor is going to be sending this into Box Brownie as they're doing some of the home mock-ups. So some uh, augmented reality going on there. Once again, you can see this one is just a list right now. This is also, all these images were uploaded to my Dropbox once again. And then I used the plugin called Outside of the Box. Um, to embed this into the custom web page. Now, let's go take a look over here because um, we can switch this to the thumbnail view instead, and my clients can actually download all of these images as well. So if they got particular ones they want to use, others they don't want to use, they can download directly out of my Dropbox. Now, we will most likely also be putting some 360 degree virtual tours, both for the homes and for the overall area as well. But 
we're just jumping into the project and really jumping into the project right at the start of this week. We had to wait a day because we had a mega hailstorm and thunderstorm that was just an absolute disaster on Monday. So no flying happened then. But since then, we got to go get our flights in and things are going really nicely with this. So once again, let's take a look up in here at the top. We're going to wrap this up real quick. So the first things that we needed were Map Pilot Pro. Um, and then also the 2020 overlay app and Photoshop and QGIS. That's all the tools that were used on this. On the next one, we needed Litchi and the Mavic 2 Pro again to follow our video flights and our still flights as well. And when we got back to the office, Final Cut Pro was heavily used. Motion Tracker VFX 3D area was used here as well, as well as another motion tracking pop out as well. Uh, Additionally, um, from there, we also made our way down to here. So we needed Photoshop, QGIS, and Kula to set this up. And we were just taking that uh, ortho mosaic that we'd already generated in WebODM and using that ortho mosaic once more just to give these clickable things. Finally, for the still images for Box Brownie with the uh, with the piano set up, um, we needed Photoshop for this, Lightroom, once again, flight pass, we're done with Litchi. And after all this was said and done, we uploaded this to our Dropbox and then connected outside of the box on my WordPress website, connected outside of the box to my Dropbox account to get these images. So there you go. I hope this one didn't run too long, but this gives you an idea of our starting point for for doing our progression reporting for our clients. Now, what I didn't show you was all of that post-processing, but we do have a new class over on Teachable, classes.azdrone.net. And over there, you can actually check out a bunch of our online classes, including our new course on different projects that we've done or are currently doing. So go on over, check out classes.azdrone.net, and you can check out the uh, free previews on each of the courses that we have over there, this course included, as well as a full class bundle that has 15 classes on the drone work we do and how we pull together all of these components to create workable solutions for our clients and build our drone business.